there, it's Lona, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul from Kitstar, yes, again, but I did return some items from the previous order, which I didn't show you, I think it was like a skirt or something else, and um, so I didn't show you in the haul anyway. But they, when Kitstar refund you, they put the money back on the gift card, if you paid with the gift card, not on your PayPal account or credit card, so you need to spend like the gift card. <laughs> So what I did is that I was a bit doubting if I would purchase this or not. I really wanted to get something from the sale first, so this is why I did the Hexmas um, sale uh, video first uh, with all the items I think were on sale. And this time I took something from the new collection, which I'm going to show you. So first of all, I'm sorry if I have some lipstick on my teeth. I am checking a lot if I do, because it's not a matte lipstick, so I have to check a lot. It is a present from my sister, but it's, it's a good present, but like it's not something I could wear all day, because it's turning me into a clown very quick. <laughs> anyway, so what I wanted to order is those pair of... They say it's loafer. I don't really find... Yeah, it is kind of a loafer. Do you know which one I'm talking about? It is a Fright Club loafer. So, I love those black box. I love the smell. It is all plastic. <laughs> the smell I really like to unbox. I love, I love the packaging. So, let's, let me push this a bit further away. Okay, so it looks like this. So it comes with a little bag and they're really chunky. Look like this. They are so beautiful. <sighs> I am so, so sad. I tried them and they're too... It's not that they're too big, but they are not holding my heel at all. It is, I think it will be not possible to wear them. Um, they're comfortable. I mean, it's a bit square there, so you have some space. Um, what can I say about the sizing, first of all? I took a size UK 5, which is European 38. I don't know if they say the... I never know the US size, I'm sorry. <laughs> Might be a six or something, I don't know. Um, no, I don't think so. Um, no, I really don't know. Uh, anyway, oh, yes, US seven. Oh, wasn't really far. <laughs> okay, so it looks like this. Let me show you a bit more closely, like this. So the heel is this sort of plastic, I don't know, bit. Not that it's squishy, but you know, it's a bit soft like this. It's a bit like gum, I don't know. <laughs> and I really like the finishing like this, like the threading is really pretty. The buckle is super pretty. I love the buckle like this. And I wasn't expected to be this squared. I mean, I like it, but it's really more than what I was expecting and um, it makes me feel a bit more as, um, is it demonia boots? I don't know, like the small one, like the short demonia, I think have the, the, the top, the front of the shoe is a bit like this. So it makes me feel a bit um, like this. So I don't know if you remember, I had the Wicked Pumps uh, heel, uh, which I'm gonna insert a little picture so you could, um, Remember if you if you haven't seen the video, did I make a video about it? I don't know, but I did had this pair that I returned. No, I, I couldn't return it because I walked with them and I did a photo shoot, I think, and then I just sell it to someone on Vinted, um, which is kind of eBay Depop in France. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this because I don't want to try to walk and then to be disappointed because I can see and I can feel that my heel is a bit going up. I know that at Dr. Martin's we have some little thing that you put here and then it just stops your foot for, from, you know, uh, moving from the inside. But I don't want to try something, you know, to have something put here and then uh, I can't return it at all. So I think it is really pretty, but I think I'm going to say goodbye to them 
and then I'm gonna be refunded again on the gift card. Oh my god, it's a you will see a lot of holes. It is because I'm like getting refunded on the gift card, so I'm trying <laughs> again any um every time like a new order. Well, at least I'm trying stuff from Kidstar and I can do some content here. So yeah, so that's one one shoe. I'm gonna show you the other one so you can see a bit more how it looks like. I think I'm not I'm not gonna remove this. Can I remove it? Yeah, perhaps I can put it back then. I really want to return them so I'm trying not to change a lot the aspect so it looks like this it is really really pretty I've seen them um, on Instagram thank you <laughs> like I feel like my last video was oh I, I tried side up because I've seen an ad on Facebook and now I've seen them on Instagram so I'm <laughs> purchase them um no i've seen them in the new collection and i, I saw it also on on, on vintage on um, instagram and there were like some really frill socks with it which i purchased also but this this is okay i think i don't know if the socks were on sale or not but anyway let me just update you about um the shape of your foot that you should have wearing this so i don't think it's leather at all it seems like it smells a lot like plastic i don't think it's leather so i don't think it's gonna stretch so you must be comfortable with it uh it has a square um front so if you have a large foot there um i think you will be comfortable i was comfortable with it i still have the creepers in 30 Eight, I believe did I took them in 38 I don't remember but they have a lot uh, they have a, a really thin shape I think for a creeper shoe so because it's not leather it's hurting me a bit there so if you're like me that you have like flat I don't really have a flat foot but I have this part from them from the front of my foot which is a bit more wider than the, the ankle so um, I think you will be comfortable there. The only thing is that I think to be maintained well, uh, if you don't want your foot to move too much, you should have like a, not a big ankle, but not like a really thin one like me, or you must put something there just to, you know, there's some little insole that you put there and it just, like a heel grip. Just remember, I'm. Um, I'm getting back to work like in two days I should practice a bit more my Dr. Martin's topic so um, yeah so if you have a really small ankle I think you should put this here um I don't know I really like them I think they should really look good on me they look like my face I don't know I think they're really really pretty I want to keep them but also I know that because I work in a shoe store and I have a shoe uniform I would never wear this I mean anyway about the shape of this makes me think a bit of the wicked pumps like it's a bit curved like this but um, as it's squared I think it is less weird I don't know I, I couldn't really well, I don't really wear heels anyway so I did a photo shoot with them and then I sell them but I I couldn't really project myself wearing them a lot because they were really really weird which is good I mean if you want it to be but like the wicked pumps were a bit thinner and then like this and super weird it's super weird to match with your clothes I think and this is a bit more chunky which is a bit I think in 2023 is easier to match with your your clothes Anyway, so this is for this, and I had some tiny things to show you. Should I keep them? Let me know in the comments if you think I should keep them or not. I, I think I will just return them, but at least I've shown you. They're really, really pretty. I'm gonna try them and just insert a little video so you can see. So these are the little socks. I really love the little detail like this. So as you can see, if I'm walking 
the food goes up but here it is really really tight i have some space for my toes for so i really think that it is the good size um it is comfortable i really think that this i have some space it's really comfortable the only thing is that if i walk can you see no definitely not something i can I can wear all day so it will be a bit complicated i feel comfortable though and i really think they're really cute so let me know what you think anyway these are the little socks i wanted to show you so it says life's too short for lame socks and it has a little pentacle like this and the little bow i really like it Oh, it feels so soft. I, I wasn't expecting it to be really like this. It is super pretty. I'm gonna do something really weird because it smells all new. <laughs> I'm not into sock fetish. I don't. I don't say about feet, but I'm not into sock fetish at all. <laughs> no. Anyway, we don't do fetish shaming here. But as you can see, they're a bit transparent like this they look warm enough i think was a bit scared that it will be a bit like tights but no they, they look they seem quite warm so i'm gonna try them with the, the shoes and i'm gonna show you then i had also something which is completely just stupid but still it was three euro and it was on sale and it's a hexmas tinsel like this i got the black one uh, last year and so I still got a little uh, Christmas uh, tree uh, in green, so it doesn't really match it, but I do have the one in black, so now I ordered the one in white, and it looks a bit longer. And I think next year we will have a lovely gothmuth. What do you think? I think it's really, it really seems a bit cheap though, but... Um, Euro, and you know what? I think it's always good to do your Christmas decoration shopping when it's over, <laughs> so you can, you know, have a bit more on sale and just prepare for next year. And um, yeah, that's it. So let me put this here. So, and the other thing I wanted to show you, I took two. So, last time I've shown you some pillow cover and this time i took something a bit more for cushions really squared one it's a bit larger than what i was expecting it's really i think it's really not a french size <laughs> but anyway okay so it looks like this it is the royal beast um print so it is velvet and you can see a bit of a unicorn there looks a bit like what we have on our uh, british passport and i really like the little fringe like this um yeah so that's it i took two because i am currently really changing my home and i will change my couch I will take i have something a bit like a nail and i never go on the, the left part so it takes some place for nothing here so i'm going to change it for like a three three person couch but like without the l i think it's it's stupid without the angle so i'm going to change it you can a bit imagine what uh, color it will be and I think this will look really good on it. So I took two and um, yeah, so it's really like the material I had for the pillowcases I got um, on the last Kelsa haul and I just changed my sheets and I put them and it's been like two nights. I'm sleeping with the new pillowcases I sleep like a baby, really. It is so comfortable, like, I don't sleep on my back. I don't know why I always wake up and I'm on my back, but when I start to sleep, I am on my belly and I'm like this, and I'm like pushing the, cu the cushion like this. <laughs> and I don't know, like, it's a bit steaming, but you, you know, when I feel the cushion a bit like this, it's really, really comfortable, I really like it. So it's been like two nights, it's been a while I haven't slept like this and 
it's really good so thank you Killstar because <laughs> it's really I don't know I think it's still because I really like the um, velvet touch and I believe it's kind of steaming for me and really relaxing so this will look really good on my new couch and I really believe that I can do a room tour once I have everything prepared so prepare yourself there is some really weird um, thing in weird places because I declutter my home a bit weirdly sometimes I just you know what I just think okay this is the place where I'm gonna keep some cartons like here we have like some cartons but it's in case I'm gonna move <laughs> so it's not really pretty but there's some cartons just there you know in the middle of the um, of the living room so anyway um, so prepare yourself that it will be a bit weird but it will be nicer than if I would have done the the room tour well the home tour before and uh, so yeah so I slept a lot and tried to and I cried a lot also on my break from work but I also what I did is that I decluttered a lot my home like I, I did all my shelf with the books I changed a lot of the shoe area oh my god it was horrible I changed some furniture that I had um, they were too old there was stuff from the street which didn't match and I was like you know what you got them for free now now why do you keep them just because you have a memory with it but it's too much it like it's like too much that's too many things that don't match um, it's from a certain era and you can let go of this so I just let go and I you know put them back on the streets <laughs> and it like it doesn't really stay you I don't know if you've seen uh, how much your mother it's like the Bermuda Triangle when you put stuff outside it's I don't know it lasts a bit like 10 minutes and then everything disappears so I did that and I'm very happy that I decluttered a bit so if I don't know if I think I I received like a bit in total perhaps six five person not much so you might have never seen my home but uh, it's really decluttered now and I really rearranged a lot of things and I'm really happy about it I still don't have a real um, wardrobe it's I still have this really weird thing a transparent weird thing that it's gonna break one day because it, ha it has too many clothes inside that really really suck uh, assembling a cupboard so or something for the clothes so I just keep it and it's really easy also to move if I have to move one day this is also why I keep some cartons there <laughs> excuse me I'm always staying in the mind that I'm gonna move so I think it's also why it is a bit weird like you you see that the person wants to put a bit of the their taste inside but it's you know temporary so it's not really finished I don't know but I think I think this break from work um, I succeed to update my home and it's not a bad thing uh beginning to oh 23 like this so if if i'm feeling like bragging and if i really want to show because i don't want to you know um show too much of my interior because it's my home so it shouldn't be really on internet i think if, even if you can see the background or something um, I don't know I will think about it but uh, if I'm feeling like it I will show you because I'm really happy about it I think it's really pretty now so um, yeah that's it I still want my go home one day like a very black wall and some really big um, gothic couch you know with some bit of texture like this and perhaps some um, I don't know how you say uh, velour capitonné a lot when it's a bit like this when you have to you know something like this we say capitonné I don't know how you say um and I'm a bit lazy to check so that's it uh anyway that I think that's enough talking about my home and I hope you like this haul do I have some lipstick on my teeth no anyway so thank you again for watching do not forget to comment if you want to comment and to subscribe if you want to I see you in my next video cheers